Good morning, everybody. I hope you all had a good day yesterday. There was no video for me. It was my day off. I enjoyed it. It was good to just relax for a little bit and get some stuff done at home. So now, I'm back on the road. It's just a short rounder this time. I've got to go pick up a load in Kenora, Ontario, which is about two hours east of me. Grab that, bring that down to Brainerd, which is about six hours south from there, in Minnesota. And then I have a load waiting for me in Minneapolis, a few hours even further south from there. That'll take me back home here. So, a little short, short rounder for me. Let's get the wheels turning. Gotta be careful walking around here. It's icy. skating rink out here. I should have brought my hockey stick and a puck and a pair of skates. We have this empty 53 foot step deck behind us and it's going to be our friend for the next couple of days. Let's head to Kenora, I'm trying to get there early. Minnesota, don't you know? 
bring you down some lumber here. Is that how Minnesotans talk? I don't think so. I think Minnesotans sound a lot like me. I don't know. Maybe I sound a lot like them. Maybe not. I say A a little bit more, eh? But we don't live that far apart. cultural lines in North America run north and south. You got the coastal cultures on the east coast and the west coast. And then you got the central culture, which is part of where I am with the Midwest of the United States. All the way down to beautiful Texas. So the cultural lines in both countries run north-south, but they drew the international border east-west. So it keeps us divided a little bit. turbo never gets old. You know, some people who don't drive trucks and don't love trucks like we do might think to themselves, man, that would get annoying day after day after day after day after day. No. Nope. I love it. I roll down the windows just so I can hear it better. Something about it. I've always loved it since I was a kid, the whistling turbo, the jake brakes as you're going down a hill or slowing down. Even the smell of diesel fuel, just love it. I know you can't indulge in that too much, right? It's not like I sit there sniffing diesel fuel, but you know, as I'm fueling, if I get a whiff of it, unintentionally, I'm not too upset about it. I mean, I, I like it, I like the smell of it. Even diesel exhaust after it's burnt. Again, you don't go looking to shove your face into it and take a deep breath. No, but if it if it wafts past you, it's just it's wonderful aroma. I wish they made cologne like that. Diesel exhaust cologne or diesel fuel exhaust cologne. You think it would sell? I think men would like it, but I don't think men would wear it because I don't think women would like it. And why else do we wear cologne? We don't wear cologne for ourselves. I put on cologne to impress my wife. I don't know if it works, but it seems to. I mean, she married me, right? That's why we wear cologne. Diesel fuel cologne. Now that might be uh, that might be something to look into. It's still February, right? Why does it feel like late March, early April? <laughs> the temperatures have been so good. I don't want to jinx it, but look at this. It's beautiful. And the sun's already up for longer than it was last month. Obviously, that was expected. But that, along with the lack of snow and the warm temperatures, it really makes me feel like it's April. This guy in front of me, his load is making me very nervous. He already lost a small log out of there earlier on. It was a very small one. It was like a stick compared to all of them, but it could have done some damage. It was about eight foot long, maybe about uh, like four inches uh, in diameter. It was a pretty big one that fell out actually. One kilometer, turn left on, Main Avenue, US 2. And I don't know how they're tied in there. I can't see any straps. I mean, obviously there must be something holding them in there. Oh, excuse my dirty windshield. I'm sorry. In 800 meters, turn left on Main Avenue, US 2. I wonder if this guy's gonna go the other way. Like, I gotta turn left. I'm kind of hoping he's gonna turn right. But there is a four lane, not like, as soon as we turn left and get out of town, I'm gonna get by him. I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna lose some more logs out of there. The thing is, he lost that like eight foot, four inch thick log out the back of his truck and it went bouncing down the road. I was about like a half, like a quarter mile behind him, so I didn't hit it. But uh, it went bouncing down the road and then bouncing into the passing oncoming lane. So if there would have been a car going past him right then, it would have hit it. It would have gone right through their grill. Turn left on Main Avenue, 
Did you left too? Hey, it could have caused some damage. Luckily that didn't happen, but uh, there's no one on the road except for me. Look at this guy. Oh, he's going right. Okay, good. There's no straps on that. Hey there, log hauler. Uh, you got a radio? Uh, you were losing some of those sticks back uh, a few miles back out of town there. I don't see any straps on that load either. There's no straps on there. I'd throw a couple of straps over that if I were you before you lose any more. He doesn't have a radio. Or he's just ignoring me. Oh, I didn't realize he had no straps on there until we got up close. I thought he did. It looked like he didn't. No way. That's wild. That's wild. I thought for sure there had to be some like, maybe some steel cables or something on there holding it. Nothing. Have you guys seen that before? Is that normal? That's not normal, is it? I've never seen that before. I always see them with straps. Sometimes I see them with your chains or steel cables. Okay, I'd like to get across this busy road, please. I'm glad he's going that way. Of course, he doesn't answer me on the radio, right? Because then he would have to publicly acknowledge that he didn't strap his load. Wow. That freaks me out. I hope no one gets hurt by that. Continue on this road for nine kilometers. The things you see out here on the highway, right? The things you see. What more can I do except try to warn him, right? I'm not gonna go chase him down. Maybe hope that a DOT officer sees it or that a cop sees it or someone stops him, pulls him, gets him off the road before something falls off the back of his truck and hurts somebody. All those logs and they're all like tilted back too, right? Nothing holding them on there. Oh, you see it all right here on Trucker John's Vlogs, right? Man. What do you do in that situation? Like, what am I supposed to do? I tried to let him know. Like I said, I'm not gonna go chasing after him. Should I call somebody when, when stuff like that happens? Like, should I report it or is that, is that frowned upon? Is that being a snitch? What? I'm worried that someone's gonna get hurt. I don't know what to do. We're at the gate, waiting for morning. Just a simple day, all the way down here to Brainerd. I started from home today, so I started really early. Left the house at about 4 a.m., got to the truck, got it ready, got hooked onto a trailer, headed over to Kenora. It took forever to get loaded because there's so many other guys there trying to get loaded as well. There's two guys in front of me here in line to get unloaded in the morning. Wouldn't be surprised if I woke up and there's another couple behind me yet. So I'm gonna get up at about six o'clock. The gate opens at 6.30. Hopefully these guys in front of me are on the ball and awake. It would be a shame if someone cut in front of them because they were still sleeping. Because I'll be awake. We'll get unloaded and uh, I'll talk to you a little bit more in the morning yet because we didn't have much to talk about today other than that uh, log truck. Okay, now is that normal? I'm not a logger. I've never hauled logs before. Is it normal to go down the highway with a load of logs like that with no securement? None whatsoever. Just on the trailer between the rails, just in there. Is that that can't be normal, right? It shocked me, but I, what do I know, right? So I'll see you guys right here in the morning. I'm gonna make my bed here and catch some sleep because uh, I've been up a long time already. It'll be an early morning. See you in a second.